my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day six of Inktober. Today we're doing a tangle called Heartfully, and it was created by Helen Williams. In the description under the video, I will let you know the name and the artist. Okay, so for Heartfully, I'm actually using an 01 micron pen and a pencil. The pencil is just to guide me in kind of how to create this correctly. Okay, this is a grid pattern, which means we need to start by making some lines. I'm just gonna do mine vertical and horizontal. Like that. And then with my pencil, very lightly, I'm gonna break each of those squares up by doing another smaller grid. So I'm just going to lightly put a pencil line down the center and across the middle. Okay, you'll see why in a second. All right, so for Heartfully, we just get to make a whole bunch of hearts. It's absolutely beautiful. So we start in a corner and I'm just gonna pick this box here and start in the corner and I'm going to create a heart and I'm just going to make sure I fill up that square. So I'm just gonna make sure my edges of my heart touch the edges of that pencil line. And then I do one right here. And in this corner. And in that corner. So by creating that smaller grid, it allowed me to make sure that my hearts touch. If they don't touch, it's okay. I just think it looks prettier if they do. Then I'm just gonna continue to make hearts in each corner. They don't have to be perfect. So Rick Roberts would call this a meta pattern, I believe which means we start making a pattern, and once it's repeated, we start seeing other patterns form. So let me make a couple more, always starting in that corner. So to me, the meta pattern is this little flower that emerges here. So we have this shape and then this little flower shape in the middle. It's so pretty. And then if you've got space and you would like, in each of these little sides, you can add a triangle just to fill in that space a little bit. If you don't have room, don't worry about it. So pretty. I'm gonna stop there so I can move on to my bigger piece of paper. Scoop this out of the way. So for my Inktober, I'm doing the calendar and then I'm also doing a large kind of collage of all of the tangles. So I'm gonna use my Micron PN plastic nib pen. It's a little bit darker and thicker. And you're just kind of along for the ride. I don't have any plan when I start these. I'm just trying to fit them in. So I hope that you're doing something like this as well, and I hope that it's turning out completely different than mine is. Okay, I'm going to, let's see. I think I'm gonna work on this corner up here. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm gonna start by making a grid, and I'm gonna make this grid with my pen. And I really hope this works. I'm just kind of letting it go behind my other tangles. And then I need to make my lines go in the opposite way. So when you make a grid go behind other things, it's really cool. It also takes a little bit of thought to figure out where these shapes come out. I'm gonna grab my pencil and make my 
center grids. Again, you do not have to do this. It just helps me lay out those hearts. Horizontal and vertical. You can erase these later or you can just leave them in because they kind of disappear into the patterns. All right, looks like I have a lot of hearts to make. I'm just going to pick a corner and I'm going to start making these. Not every grid is even and I really don't think that matters. I've been doing Zentangle for several years and anyone who looks at my art, some like it, some don't love it. You know, not everybody loves a pile of tangles, but nobody has ever commented that anything is uneven or my shapes aren't exact or they don't line up because most people don't even know what I'm doing, so they don't really care. So think about that when you make yours. You're not looking for perfection. You're just enjoying making these lines. I would say when you're doing this one, when you stick, when you start in a box, just make sure you're doing the corners for your hearts. I've never made this one before, and I really like it. I'm just kind of imagining where they would come out of a shape if I've got something in the way. So cool. I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to start adding those little triangles inside each square in between those curved areas. And then because I like to show a variation, I'm going to show you how I'm going to color in those little triangles. And when they're together, it ends up making a diamond. I like the boldness of that. Isn't that so cute? And then I've got a lot of space in between, so I'm going to add a circle and color it in. It's looking so pretty. Now up here, I'm just going to kind of finish this one off. I don't really want to leave it just as a line. So I'm going to imagine where hearts would come out on the opposite side. That's kind of cute, isn't it? And I can still do that pattern. And then if you wanted to, another variation is you could add a little swish and a dot inside each of those. I'm going to do those on these outside ones. And if you wanted to, you could even aura it. Just to separate it from whatever tangle you're going to do next. Isn't that pretty? Always remember to kind of step back and look at your tangle, see if you forgot anything. This has a lot of little pieces to it. Hopefully I've got them all. And that's it. Such a fun one, Heartfully by Helen Williams. I hope that you enjoy it, and I really hope that you are making a large one like this. It's so much fun. If you'd like my calendar, it's linked under my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. Enjoy. See you tomorrow.